products of sugarcane. And uh, Bacardi as a company itself, we, uh, we say we don't grow our own sugarcane, so we buy molasses. So the thing is, uh, we get the most the molasses that have the highest sugar quantity. So compared to other rums, like each rum has its own identity. The identity for Bacardi comes from the uh, comes from the molasses and also comes from uh, the water that is used. One, the molasses is of high quality, and also. Uh, the water that is used to dilute, which water makes a lot of difference to any spirit. Because I can make my, for example, if I can be able to make my own Bacardi here, it won't taste the same way as the Bacardi that comes from Puerto Rico taste like. Because water gives the taste to the spirit as well. Also, um, the other thing that I would say that makes it uh, special is that it's the way that it's made, or in terms of the production. Because someone would say, a ram is a ram, yeah? But same thing that someone would say, a vodka is a vodka, or a whiskey is a whiskey, but there's a difference. The difference comes in the production. In the same category, yes, because if you drink a ram, uh, say you drank Bacardi, you drank another brand of ram, you still feel, if you know ram, you still feel it's a ram, but it has a difference to it. So the production makes a big difference to how the ram is made. So, first of all, the glasses that are in front of you, I would like you guys to nose, to nose the ram. I want you to nose it. And I want you guys to tell me what you feel. Apart from the spirit, yeah, of course it's spirit. You feel the spirit. Yeah. What, what do we feel? And give it a slight taste if you're not feeling the character totally just a slight taste remember the idea is not to get drunk is to understand yes what are we feeling what are the flavors that you are feeling from it oak there is oakiness yes that's true american honey you yeah <laughs> Yeah. Honey, yes. So the sweetness is the molasses because it's made from the molasses, which is sugar. So it has that sweetness. Yeah, sorry. Vanilla, yes. That wow. comes from the barrels. The, the vanilla comes from the barrels. Because it's, it's been aged in ex bourbon casks. So ex bourbon casks are barrels that have been used to age American whiskey. And American whiskey is referred to as sweet compared to the Scottish. It has like sweet notes to it. So the vanilla, the oakiness, that is what you get from the barrel. The sweetness is, uh, the sweetness comes from now the molasses. What else can you feel? There's a smell that lingers. I don't know if, if that's the vanilla. A smell that lingers. Yeah, when you waft it. Yeah. I would say it's maybe the oakiness. The oakiness, yeah, the oakiness is what lingers. It's also, I would say, it's also a rum that most people uh, would confuse to a whiskey. Would confuse. If you're really not a good whiskey person and you've had whiskey, it's a rum that you kind of... This, this is in your because, yeah. yeah, because now it's sweet. Yeah, so someone would be like, oh, it's, it's, it tastes like a sweet whiskey because I've had people tell me it tastes like a sweet whiskey. But just so we know it's around, yes? Okay. It has a, a medium to long finish. Yeah, it has a medium to long finish. Thank you. What that means is that um, a long finish is something that lingers longer in your mouth, but you don't, it doesn't have the harshness on your throat. Yeah? But then a dry finish is what gives you the harshness but disappears from the mouth. So also another way to know a younger spirit versus an older spirit is a younger spirit Has will it. have the dryness, an older spirit will have the smooth finish, which it will linger longer in your mouth, but then it, does, it doesn't give you the aftertaste. But a younger spirit gives you the aftertaste. <coughs> so this is a dark chocolate. So a way to serve premium rum, either you can pair them with, cu uh, with Cuban cigars or with cigars, or you can pair them with dark chocolate. You can pair them with dark chocolate. 
if you're feeling it's like too heavy on you open one of the one of the chocolates that you have the other ones the ones that are wrapped just pick pick any pick any the ones that are wrapped so the chocolates that are wrapped have been infused with bacardi eggs they are they are booze balls we call them booze balls so yes so you have an option of either definitely which will it's a, it's a good gift to give someone amen yeah? it's a good gift if you want the chocolates please see me after this okay. definitely <laughs> see me after this we'll get you the chocolates oh, okay yeah <coughs> <Goodbye>. thanks <laughs> <laughs> You feel you feel the difference of having uh, the straight rum with the dark chocolate and the rum uh, the rum infused chocolate. Yeah, some people would prefer the rum. We're here to know how better to drink Bacardi 8. The signature cocktail for Bacardi 8 is an eight fashion. So an eight fashion. Uh, sure, the bars have been, the bars, you know, an old fashion, right? So it's a rum based old fashioned but we call it a fashion because it, made, it is made with bacardi eggs so we are going to make a sample of that if there are any questions please ask so since you just started us off on a so when you're serving it, it's just pouring out and then serve it on ice or you can have it as it is. Also for, so this, this holds around uh, four liters. So it will hold around three bottles comfortably. Don't do more than three because again, you give it room for expansion. Then there is the barrel, uh, the barrel bottles. So also here, this will hold around four cocktails inside. So it's good for like table service and all that. You know, you at home and because you can get the bottle barrels, you can buy them. So you age your cocktail and as opposed to you know keeping making each cocktail each time, so you can just save it as this because this is easy to store compared to the barrel. I know the barrel is much bigger, so it takes more space, but this will take as much space. But the effect in this is the same effect that the barrel gives. The only caution is how you play it, yeah. and it will come out more bitter as opposed to having to have react to the bitters. Question? Question. <laughs> yes, May I want that Bacardi 8 uh, bottle, the one that has the wood. Where can we find it? Because uh, I know it's not in a supermarket, clearly. But I've seen other companies making. You can't get exactly this, the one that is, the one that is branded Bacardi 8, mm -hmm. but you can get it. So we, we can get it from you, in short. Not from me, but I know someone who sells this here. Okay. I'm not sure if you but someone sells this. Okay. Apart from cocktails, what other way can I enjoy rum? I mean, apart from the kawaida drinking it Cigars. and the cocktails, yeah. is there a way I can infuse it with my food? Yes. Yes, especially when it comes to something like beef, uh, steaks out there. But either beef, lamb, make the best infusions with rum. Uh, and cakes. And cakes. cakes. Yeah, pastries, not pastries, desserts. No, desserts. Work amazing with rum uh, and also sticks. I'd say either beef or lamb, they work really good. So don't go for like spots or It doesn't give that uh, nice flavor. And then not all the rums can use much fusion. For example, you wouldn't go for this to infuse your food. You go for either um, this. This is perfect because it's a dark rum and it has more character in it. But I it as well has more character. And also if you I would pick the spice too. Because yes, it's spice, but it's spice. It is a spice rum, but it's just yeah. it. It's a spice rum, but it's very sweet. So it will work better with the dessert. Because of the sugar and the 
can give it a little sugar and cut it as that. But don't go for don't go for young rice if you're trying to eat. Now, if you want to make spirit infusions, now that's something different. If you want to make a spirit infusion, this will be perfect because this has no the character for this is more because the character one has been has been drained out and it's more of the spirit as opposed to feeling the openness or that. So this would be perfect when you're making spirit infusions. As opposed to this, because this is the only character that so it's sweet, too okay, or it's dark, so that would balance it. But since this is more and then also depending on how I would say how you make your sugar syrup. If it's too thick, it will react to the wood. Yeah, because it's too concentrated.